Okay, hello, hello. We're here in the Savoy Theatre with Natalie Casey. Oh, Hi. Hi. How are you? You know, I'm not too bad. I'm all right. The weather's got a little bit cold. It's a bit so chilly, right? No, but I'm pleased because it means yeah. that you're boiled to death on stage. Oh, well, that's true. Because that's, that's a... You yeah, just boil to death thing. on the train where that's you pack all the layers on. And you're yeah. like, <gasps> too hot. <laughs> you can't take <laughs> any off because you're like steam. <laughs> I guess it's good for your voice, though. <laughs> but yeah, you never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's something to think about. <laughs> Layers, steam, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you're currently Paulette in Legally Blind. I am indeed, yeah. That's I'm awesome. Yes. You started in April, right? I did, yes. Wow. So I've been here for six months. I'm here for another six. Yeah. So we'll see if I lose a limb or if anybody else does in that we'd, time. Well, we'd like to not lose limbs. Yeah, we'd be we'd like all, all, all limbs to stay intact. Yeah, all extremities to be yeah. intact. But, you know, you never know. I'll show you. Well, Okay, life well, it. it's true, it is live. Now, for Paulette, for those who haven't seen, tell us about Paulette. Okay, uh, Paulette Bonafonte yeah. is a hairdresser who works in a salon uh, in Boston near Harvard University, where uh -huh. Ellen Wood decides to go after falling in love with a man who, who professes to no longer love her. She yeah. falls into Harvard University. And yeah, yeah. we like, why we order? She's a bit tired. And then um, she, Elle was decides that she's going to dye her hair brown in order Ugh. to appear more intelligent. Not that I have a problem with brown. Well, exactly. you know, all the way down, yeah. all the way back. Yeah. But to appear more intelligent to her former love, she wants to dye her hair. So she comes to my salon. That's where she meets me. We become firm friends. She helps me out with problems I have. I help her out. Uh, we become besties and hilarity ensues. Yeah. And if you haven't seen it, you have to. Because you also have a Rufus. Oh, yes, I love do. Rufus. You do. Um, now... Have you made friends with Rufus? Uh, I have. I think it's very important to make friends with your be your human colleagues yeah. and also um, your dog type colleagues. Is it hard working with dogs? Uh, like, it's they not all, like farted in your face <laughs> on stage. Or? No, that that's more that's more the ensemble. Oh, oh um, God. I think, yes. No, they're they're kind of yeah they're quite easy to deal with. They're very well yeah. trained, and as long as you're kind to them. They will be kind to you. Oh, that's nice. That's I like Rufus. Yeah, he's I do. He's cute. He's totally cute. And he has many folds in his face. <laughs> so you go, oh, you'll, 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 you Wow. Well, I think that what being in the pinky show in town does is that if you've had a bad day, say you got up on the wrong side of bed, yeah. say you got a letter from the bank that you didn't want to receive. Well, help me out. So, well, that's it. Yeah. Say that, you know, a former friend has smited you in the worst way that you must be smoted. Wow. Well, quite Strong nice. words. <laughs> yes. Really glad you have it. When you come into work, it solves all of your problems. So you go pink. Uh, you do. And yeah. also because people love it because it's yeah. so much fun. It's it happy. Instills, that's it. It instills a sense of happiness and fun yeah. too. So it is very good. Well, happy people just don't kill. Oh, that's <laughs> it. <Sorry. laughs> oh, can you tell what? She's it. right. She is she right is, on that yeah. point. But it is the, this sounds like a really cheesy thing to say, but it is actually true, that it is the best job I've ever done. Cool. Yeah. And obviously, pink kind of has its its side effects. Yeah. Um, the Legally Blonde at the moment are supporting breast cancer. We are indeed. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So we had some pictures taken the other day. Wearing pink. Yeah, wearing pink. And we had to hold up the nice banners yeah. to say that we support breast cancer. And so it's good we get involved with a lot of charities here yeah. actually because it's a very, very popular show and because it's the your demographic and the people who come and see oh, the yeah. show. It spans all ages and all sectors. Everywhere. Yeah. So it's nice. To some of the guys are kind of like, oh God. And then they walk out like, oh, oh that was and amazing. They that's it, and they actually yeah. love it because it means that straight men can be a little bit camp. Yeah. Two hours of their lives. And exactly, and then they walk out and they're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
that's what I think. So yeah. actually, in a way, I am kind of grateful that I'm not in it with Sharon. Yeah. But it is a shame. It would have been it, funny. Exactly. Yeah. And it would have been amazing. But you know what, man? That's funny. It is. It's, it's all good, though. Yeah. Amazing cast. Yeah. Cast before is amazing. Well, I think that that's the thing when you're in with it being, well, so, wait, you never know, but soon, possibly, probably to be taken over. If it's the biggest show in town, if it's yeah. the Olivier Award winner for Best Musical, then it was important for them to get good people in the cast. Oh, yeah. Do it. And you have to remember that you are doing it eight times a week. Of so course, you have yeah. To get people to do it. And what is really good about this cast is that quite a lot of Northerners in it. Yeah. So it's kind of like, we're taking over the Like, stuff. yeah. Oh, Welcome to the North. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sort of North. We're kind of New York, North. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay. Sort you know, you're allowed to yeah. stop because you're actually the first city that any people leaving England got to. So you're the cool that's one. That's true. So, yeah. New York, ah! Florida. I'm walking yeah. here. Exactly. Yeah, cool. Exactly. <laughs> uh, now I want to go back in your career a little yeah. bit. Uh, staying in the theatre. Yeah. 2007. Yeah. You played Serena Katz. I did. Awesome. You were a Jewish Juliet from Brooklyn. Yes, I was. Cool. I love that part. Can I just say? Yeah. You own those stairs. What? Yeah, those stairs were yours. Yeah. They're yeah. totally mine. They're my yeah. stairs. I was like, they are your stairs. They're totally mine. They're a bit stairs. scary. That was my favourite bit. Yeah. That was my favourite bit. But I always got told bit. off for shouting too much. No, so, no, yeah, no it worked. They it were worked. like, no, no, what would the shouting? And I was like, no, no, no. it's important. Yeah, it's important. I got told off for shouting. You was, you was emotional. You was like, they're my stairs. Go away, dude. Go. Was actually loud. Can you imagine just saying they're going to the my stairs? They're the my stairs. Thank you. Please get off. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Right? It's it important to feel something. Exactly. And you was in it opposite uh, Ian Watkins. Ian H. Watkins from the band yeah. Stairs. <laughs> Stairs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was kind of the first musical that I did in town that wasn't... I've done musicals before, but they were usually fringe stuff. Yeah. And stuff many, many years before. That was my first musical in town. Now, well, obviously, Fame's a pretty dancey show, yeah. and Serena doesn't dance. No. Which was I that was a blessing, or, you know? Well, I'm not being funny, but towards the end of the week, you did realise how much of a blessing in this guy yeah. was. So you're oh. sounding like, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's it's shows, shows, whatever. People are like, <gasps> yeah, I can't feel my toes. <laughs> you're like, like, I'm okay, I'm okay. I've felt their toes since 98, you're joking. Yeah. But I, yeah, I didn't need to do that much dancing, that was pretty bad about it. Yeah. I can dance, I can move. Ladies and gentlemen, this is available for your jump rope. Thank you. Jump rope? Do you know what that is? Do you know what yes, that is? I know what that is. Yeah, of course you do, but I don't have to do that as well, which I'm really quite glad about. Maybe we can have words. Yeah. See if we can start. Right. No, I'm joking. Stop. Like, oh, jump rope. You'll be like, ah, oh, no, I don't think so. I wow. appear to have broken my leg. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, now, moving Please. on to 2008, yeah. you played Julia in The Wedding Singer. I did, the did, tour. Did, did, yeah. Yeah. I did. That's, um... Well, thankfully, she was never Julia Gulia. Yeah, she Can you wasn't. imagine? Gulia. Good. Say it again. <laughs> Julia. Gulia. 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 Um, so, yeah, so we did the tour of that, and that was for six months, and yeah. that was good. With a was that weird course. to put the film on stage? Well, I think that it's always kind of strange when you turn a film into a musical, but you have to make sure that it's... I always think... Now, don't get me wrong, because I love Jersey Boys, and yeah. I mean, those kind of musicals. But I think that when you put the film on stage, you should be careful that it's not a, what's the term, a jukebox music. Yeah. And that you should write original songs in the style of the film. And, well, the most original song that I love, that was an oddly sentimental one, yeah. Come Out of the Dumpster. Yeah. That's always That's a good one. Uh, Except, I had to, it was always scary leaning over that big thing and thinking yeah. I might. You'd be like, oh my god, god I, I might fall in. I get I out of the well, well, I'm in there. I'm no, in the dumpster. Help me! Yeah. yeah, that would have been bad. But I think that that's what's important about when yeah. you turn a film to a musical. You have to write songs that are at the musical, but that are songs in their own right. Yeah, See, that's a good outlook. Thanks. I like that. Yeah. Um, you've also done, now I had to Google this because I'm not quite sure what it is, I but now I know, yeah. vagina monologues. I did indeed, yeah. I did yeah. do the vagina monologues. Which monologue did you do? Um, I did um, the really shouty one towards the end. And uh -huh. I did where I have to make ladies say a certain word. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that made me I have never been to a show where I get to swear. Yeah. Wow. Don't necessarily want to say it, but Don't the strange say thing it, no. about I'm not saying it. But the weird thing about that word, since doing the vagina monologues, 
I know that's a bad thing. But it's not. Because that's not. That's the point. And that it can be used as a term yeah. of women. I think I felt so liberated. Yeah, you see. It was awesome. You see, it does. And it's it amazing does. how there's lots of women in the audience who don't want to say it. Yeah. But they, of course, they, they do. Say it. And they come out right. and go, I can't believe they did that. It feels good, right? Be, yeah. Um, I mean, you've done so much. You've done so much. Like, um, Flint Street Nativity. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Which went from the Trafalgar Studios it did, to the, the Apollo. Apollo. Yeah. That's that a big was, theater. Well, it was a, a fellow American that yeah, that of course. and started it on Broadway, Lisa Croft. Yeah. And that was nice and it was good. And I think that actually what I've learned over the past few years is that I much prefer doing theatre than doing TV. Yeah. Because you get a live response. And if it that's true. Work, that's true. Well, if you go, you see it there and then. That's it. And if you think, I'm going to try this, well, I didn't work. You can always go on and try it now. Because obviously like you it. have done TV. Yeah. Um, for those who don't know, I don't mm. know why you wouldn't. You did Hollyoaks. Yeah. Right from the pilot ago. in 1995 <sighs> to 2000. When I was young and had my own hips. Yeah. All those well, years ago. It was a while ago, but yeah. there we go. Um, mm-hmm. And also Donna in Two Pints of Lager and a Packet of Crisps. Yeah, which was very long. I always it? wondered what flavour. Um, I'd I'd say I, uh, I would say cheese and onion. Yeah? yeah? Cheese and onion? Or barbecue. Ooh, barbecue. Yeah. Thank you. So we'll we'll go with those. Thank you. Good. Um, I like Two Pints. I like the live episode. Yeah. Going to live is but another thing about live. But that's the thing is that it's a lot like theatre. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed that episode particularly. Well, you sang a beautiful song. I did. You did. Oh. And what was it called? It was called Chick Chick Chicken. Yeah. Do you know why? And who charted with that? You did. I charted with that. You did. When you were three years years old. old. And I was at number 74 for one week. That's amazing. And they still sell copies of it in Iceland. Really? In the fast food store of the country. Wow. And occasionally I get royalties. I was going to say you get royalties. I do. But it's about 75 pence. That's okay. I mean, it goes a long way. It does. Every penny counts. Pays my biscuits. Pays my jasmine biscuits. It does. Do you buy those in Iceland? Yeah, I do. Or just a, yeah, just <laughs> <in> <laughs> just keeping <laughs> it Iceland. Yes, okay. Um. No, anyway, moving on, moving on. I like this song. It was cute. Thank you. Um. Do you have an annoying audience story? I mean, we've had weird ones. An annoying audience story. Um. We used to get a lot with well, yeah. because um of the theatre that it's in. We used to get a lot of business conferences uh-huh. obviously would get like and they would leave because they didn't really like uh. it. it was about ladies and they didn't understand but I uh, annoying audience sorry I went to see Priscilla Queen of the Desert and yes. was attacked by somebody in the audience oh I actually went, attacked I was physically attacked by somebody oh, in the really? audience yeah it's quite dramatic I stood up at the end when everyone comes on they're dressed like koalas because yeah. I think it's remix time so we're all up and get up and dance yeah. Yeah. and the man behind me tapped me on the shoulder like this oh Oh, and I turned around and I said, yes, he said, sit down! Oh! Said, but it's the remix, we're meant to dance when it's the remix. He said, sit down! And I said, but it's the remix, I don't want to sit down. And he grabbed me by oh the shoulders and he pushed me down. Oh, that's so And good. I said, you are a very nasty old man, please do not touch me again. And then now, I did you say that and did you use some choice words? I didn't, no. because I figured that because he was an older man, I should actually be a little bit Yeah. And then I stood up and I carried on. I would have stood up, moved to the aisle, and gone, yeah. there, happy. Yeah, and yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I could dance here. Really left, but I think that he was by himself, he was in a suit. I think he'd come to maybe, maybe the wrong theatre. He didn't realise. Yeah, he yeah. didn't know what kind of a show maybe it was. Maybe he thought Les Mis was still there. That's it. And yeah. as the show went on, it, it annoyed him more, and then I was just the straw that was coming back. Well, he didn't have to hurt you and mm-hmm. pushing you down the seat. Wow. Yeah. But that is what happened to me. That That's is annoying. That's annoying audience, sorry. And also, sometimes it's annoying in this show when people love the dogs more than you. Yeah. Which you get terrible. a cheer and then the dogs run on you. Woo! Like, what? What? <laughs> what? They did nothing. Uh, they were just is, there. Exactly. They were just there being they were just, cute. They were dogs. I don't know. Yeah. Um, now, moving on from that, I would like to know a random fact. About me? About you. Um, and you can't think. use it. You had a number seventy-four kit. I can't use We've that. We've done that now. Okay. I um. Oh, that's a really good one. It is. It makes people think. We've had uh, fear of giraffes. Um, fear of giraffes. Yeah. That? That fear was of Alice giraffes. Burn. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Alice. I just told oh, you a secret. Yeah. I don't mind. Um, knitting. Knitting. People like knitting. Um, I am an. I 
Okay, here's a random fact about me. Okay. I am quite a massive fan of fashion magazines. My favourite being French Vogue because it's the ultimate fashion magazine. French Vogue. And a random fact about me is if I can't get to sleep at night, yeah. what I do is I put outfits together in my head oh. and that sends me to sleep. I go That's through my wardrobe and I go, maybe if I put that with that, that Yeah, I'll have that, that, those trousers yeah, with that jacket. Yeah. 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 And then I'm out. Wow. Is that random though? That is random. Okay, that's Well right. done. Thank you. Thanks. I'm going to try that when I can't speak. Oh, and also, I'm obsessed with, I don't even know if I can mention the names of specific chocolate bars. Oh, it's okay, go for it. I'm obsessed with Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Oh, yeah. Ones, and they're very hard to get. And whenever I, like I find Reese's them, pieces. I buy the box. Wow. That's another random fact about me. So if you have no white peanut butter cups, there you go. Don't come knocking on my door. There they are. I'm not interested. Because yeah. they're already gone. Yeah, they're already gone. <laughs> cool. Um, now, uh, if you could be in a show, yeah, any show, yeah, what would it be? That's a very good one. Um, I would very, very much like to be either Abigail and the Crucible. Oh, yeah. Or, but it's films for me. Yeah. It's not actually. It's not usually shows. I spent a lot of my time when I was younger obsessively watching musicals, oh, okay. and I always wanted to be um, in Seven Rise for Seven Brothers, but I oh, wanted to be yeah. Keel, oh. because he was so unbelievably cool. That might work if you just might be you know. Problem. It'd have to be a no. It could work. It could, do you know? It could be a back to front cast. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. One that's of those true. wacky shows. But in shows that are in town at the moment. I would like to be in. I would like to be Alpha Green Wicked. Yeah. That's what I would like to. You be. just want to be green and fly, or just want to be green and fly. That's what I want to do. Um, and I would also have liked to have been in West Side Story, but I would like to be one of the Jets, not yeah. Maria. Well, yeah. if it comes back, you never know. Yeah, could be anybody's. You could be. Um, what was his name? Iceman. Yeah. 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 Because they got to do cool and they got yeah. to do that good jump that they did, and that was really, really cool. Maybe we could have another back to front cast. There you go. There we go. Strange things about. Well. There's a couple of ideas. Yeah. You never know who's watching this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's been great talking to no, you. It's been great talking Thank to you. you. Thank, Thank you so much for coming and visiting me it's in my yeah. hole in the West End. No, it's it's nice. It's not too bad, huh? Yeah. There's a lot of stress and moves. There's some nice cards. Yeah. Posture view that they can see. I've got every time type of tablet there possible yeah so that it never at any point can I say oh, God, you can't be sick because no. there's the cure yeah. right there and because we're pros yeah we're not yeah wow well, thank you very much thank you ladies and gentlemen oh my God. for today's physical warm up thank you physical warm up time well that is perfect timing I'm just going to do a light lunch um, thank you very much thank you thank you bye bye bye